Yo, what's up, everybody? Happy Monday, I think. Monday, right? Holy Monday. Pretty sure. <laughs> we are going to hop back into Skyward Sword. Happy Monday, indeed. Holy cow. Sword about 12.34 just subscribed. Let's go nine months. Let's go nine months. Sora, thank you so, so much for that sub. Thank you for all the love and support. How are you? How's your week starting off? It is Monday, right? <laughs> I cannot thank you enough, Sora. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you are well. I was just saying we are starting off the week with Skyward Sword. I just remembered that I don't have a shield, so I'm going to try to get some rupees together. We got one Sky Stag Beetle. These are really popular with the children of Skyloft. Their pinchers pack a lot of crunch, so watch your finger. Good. Who? Dream boss all <laughs> You've almost defeated the stream boss. <laughs> I was like, what did I say? Who are we talking about? <laughs> catch a butterfly. I really cannot catch a butterfly. Is there some sort of trick to catching the bugs? Get good? <laughs> I forget how much a uh, shield is, and honestly, I haven't been in there in a while. They might have a new shield. And not that I really use a shield ever, do I? Do I need to go buy a shield? <laughs> I probably should, just in case, right? Just in case. So I, I've got this picture of me on the dirt bike, ooh, hitting a jump, and I started drawing that last night. I'm having fun with drawing it, and I'm thinking about using it for the stream somehow. Maybe even put it in like the merch store as like stickers or on the shirt. I don't know. Just an idea. I really like the way that the picture looks, and I like drawing it. So I can just turn that any way that I want. I thought I was gonna like lock into place once I moved it to a certain spot. Maybe I want it to face- oh, wait. It turned blue. Does it turn blue here? shield looking thing at the top turned blue on it it's like right there no okay 
Okay. We already went up to that shop and collected some stuff. We have a bigger wallet now. I think we can hold more things in our pouch. We're just gonna go up to the bazaar and see how much a shield is and if they have another shield for us. I think the bazaar is right here. Maybe not. Maybe? Hey, look at that. Okay, you do not have a new shield for me. Um, I think you've always had arrows. I don't know what that pouch is now. Let's... What? Oh yes, my friend. I've got something new to show you. Today I was able to procure a fine small bomb bag. I do hope that it delights you. Oh, is that what that other one is? Aha, that there is a very sturdy iron shield. It's much more durable than a wooden shield, and I am happy to report that it won't burst into flames. Hey, what's up Xerxes? How you doing? Good to see you. Um, I suppose I should warn you that it won't protect you from electricity, which could come as a nasty duh. It's yours for just 100 rupees. Okay, yep, cool. <clears throat> we got an iron shield. I hope you're doing well, Xerxes. Aha, uh -huh, the customer is always right. I've taken the liberty of placing your purchases in your pouch. Press R to open it, then equip what you need. I'd like to equip the shield. Okay, cool. Sweet. We have potions. Do you have any new potions? I don't remember a blue one, but whatever. Zeldor! Okay, so now that we bought the stuff from Dude and we got ourselves a shield, I don't know what Dude's name is, but the dude in the sky that we ring the bell right there. We bought stuff from him yesterday before ending the stream. And then we have our shield. Beetle, thank you. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, which one is the forest? I meant to put a marker there. I guess just turn left. Right there, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm glad you're good, Xerxes. I am great, thank you. Got some ideas for stream stuff that's getting me excited to stream again. And then some like wood crafting ideas that are getting me excited. But that means I need to clean my garage, which I've been trying to do for a while. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Rocket, help! No, you stole my bird. Kick him off of us. Kick, kick, kick. <laughs> Ugh, rough landing. Yeah, because of you, jerk. I think I might have broke something. Hey, Sprocket, seriously, didn't anyone ever teach you how to land without crash? Whoa. The birds, tiny birds, but what are they? And what is that thing? <laughs> but how? Well, why? Well, what? Where am I? <laughs> What's going on here? Ever since Zelda vanished, you've been zipping in and out of town all in a hurry. So I figured I'd tail you, and you might lead me to Zelda. But this is... so wild. Seriously, what is that thing over there? And what's with all these trees? There's so many. Just give it to me straight, I can take it. Where are we? Is Zelda here? What's the deal with this place? If there's supposed to be nothing below the clouds, what's all this? Hmm. 
He would have landed fine without the surprise addition of the... <laughs> exactly. Uh... Whoa. You're kind of imploding my mind right now. I'm sure that's not difficult to do. But I think I get what you're saying. If I've got this right, Zelda's down here somewhere and she's... Okay? He's... He's okay. Oh, wow. That's so great. The... Uh, hearing that is such a... Huge weight off my mind. You know, Sprocket, it's sort of all right down here. Man, you haven't seen much yet, dude. Chill. <laughs> You're not ready. This place needs a name. Yeah, a name fitting for this rugged, adventurous wilderness. From now on, we'll call it Bruce Land. No. No, we will not. Yeah, exactly, Sora. Exactly. <laughs> you said the same thing, Xerxes? <laughs> Please tell me he doesn't tail us. So let me see if I've got this right. The old lady living in the temple down the road from here knows where Zelda is. I see. Right, Sprocket. Thanks for getting me here. You've done a good job. You can head home. Big Groose will handle this search for Zelda from here. Yep, I'll track her down, save her, and then give her a lift back to Skyloft. Then when we get back, I'll ask her if she wants to make our whole going out thing official. And then the two of us will get some quality time together. Anyway, the point is your work here is done. I got it covered from here. Now it's off to find that old lady you were talking about. Catch you later, Sprocket. I hope not. I really hope not. Now I gotta play as him instead. Oh no. Well, that's... Skyward Sword. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, I got the thing that... Gives us more hearts. Which I guess is okay. We always fill up on rupees pretty quickly, right? But I can hold like 1,200 now, so... We'll go ahead and save. <clears throat> Don't tell me if I'm right or wrong, but I have a feeling he's gonna be manipulated by the bad side told that I'm the bad guy trying to keep Zelda and that he should kill us to save Zelda and he's gonna be the real villain. <laughs> oh hey bud, we meet again. In a hurry as usual, eh? Yep, I've been keeping busy too, checking out the wonders of the world. Say, you want to hear about some of my research? Sure. Okay bud, prepare to be amazed. I made a huge discovery while I was out doing my field research. So get a load of this. Apparently there are walls and statues that respond to beautiful tones. Wild, right? Wanna know more? Of course. Mm -hmm. Alright. That is the kind of archaeological archaeological enthusiasm I like to see. I can read big words. Oh, but before we get into the fascinating details of walls and statues, there's something I had better ask you about, bud. You ever heard of a blessed butterfly? Nope. Oh, right. So a blessed butterfly is this kind of pretty blue butterfly. You may not believe it, but they are super hardy. They live in all kinds of places you would never expect. Even in a land like this, you will see plenty of them. Ancient tomes mention these butterflies flapping around in packs by certain walls and statues. Seems like these butterflies have some kind of sixth sense. They are detecting, uh, something. Want to hear more? Yes. Yes, I do. I suppose that my comment would have been more convincing if you haven't seen me play later sections of the game. 
Which are you interested in? Uh, well. From what I have learned, it sounds like these walls were left behind by the goddess for the hero mentioned in Legends. You're looking at him, bro. Come on. Uh, the things the hero desires are said to spring forth from behind the walls. That is why they call them goddess walls, I suppose. Hungry to hear more? Of course. That is the spirit, but sadly that is as far as my research has gotten me. As soon as I can make any new discoveries, you will be the first to know. Okay, should I talk to him again and find out about statues? There's a surprise direct tomorrow? Well then it's not really a surprise, is it? <laughs> Seriously, is there some kind of trick to catching these things? Do I just run into him? Alright, well, let's put that away. Where am I supposed to go? Well, because I just pulled the net out. So maybe I do just run into him. They only announced it today. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I did see a thing last night that Nintendo's gonna be... Oh wait, what was it? Because Nintendo is opening up a theme park and competing with Disney, Disney is now going to make a Mario Kart just with Disney and Pixar characters. And what I didn't understand about that was if you're going in competition with them, why is it going to be available on the Switch? But whatever, what do I know? Huh? You gotta be kidding me, Granny? Apparently I went in the right spot. You're miss- you're messing with me. Say it again. I dare you. I only speak the truth. You are not the one who will save her. The spirit maiden, your Zelda, can only be saved by another. It has been his fate to do this thing, and in doing so, save us. As it was decided long before you were brought crying into this world. Shut it, Granny. You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you'd know that if anyone's going to save Zelda, it's Groose. How could it not be me? Plus, if it ain't me, why would I even be here? <laughs> if I'm not up to the job of being the hero, just who is? Huh? Oh, now I get you. Rocket, Granny here has been trying to tell me you're going to be the big hero who rescues Zelda. What a joke. Look, all I've heard so far is a bunch of babbling about destiny, but that's a load of garbage. I know you, and you're no hero, shrimp. Well, <laughs> that's because at the end of the day, they both love my- eh, true. <laughs> Greetings, Rocket. Were you able to catch up with Zelda? Ah, I see. So the Guardian was there as well, was she? The one you saw by Zelda's side is known as Impa. He is a being sent forth by the goddess to aid Zelda in her quest. The two have traveled somewhere in order to accomplish the great task Destiny has set before them. However, now that Impa has destroyed the gate that they used, there is only one way left to find them. You must make use of the harp given to you by Zelda. Tell me, Sprocket. Have you attempted to play the harp that you received? My sense is that you have not yet familiarized yourself with it. Very well, I shall teach you how to play it. Listen well and do as I say. First press X to ready your harp. 
Okay. Play faster so that your strums move in time with my braid. Now try strumming your harp. Good, you learn fast. I try. <laughs> uh, now for your next lesson. Focus and play in time with the pulsing of the circle of light. When your timing is right, I shall join my voice to your heart. Listen well for the song I sing will be of great help to you in your journey. Whoa. I'm guessing I'm doing it right because these things are lighting up around me. Okay. <laughs> no one wants that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. I did it right, I did it right, yay! <laughs> I'm a quick learner. <laughs> You learn the Ballad of the Goddess. It's a mysterious melody that has been passed down from ancient times. Okay. I learned to push the joystick left and right, left and right, left and right. <laughs> oh boy. The harp you hold is known as the Goddess's Harp. It is a divine instrument of the goddess who once watched over this land. The melodies it brings to life have the power to produce a variety of strange and otherworldly effects. The great slab standing before you is known as a gate of time. It is the last of its kind in existence, the only portal binding our world to the one where Zelda now resides. If you manage to open the gate, and pass through, you will likely end up in the same place as Zelda, but you will need to endure many hardships and put yourself in great danger to awaken the gate from its dormant state. Though your journey will put you in harm's way, Sprocket, you must endure. It is your fate as the chosen hero of the god- Got it. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> I think we opened the gate. The shaking. I fear the seal has been broken. I expected that it would react to your summoning the gate, but I never imagined the seal would break so quickly. Sprocket, there will be time to explain later. Right now, you must hurry to the bottom of the pit outside. Bottom of the pit, okay. I think that's where we first were, right? Oh wait, I think that was this way. Come back, Sprocket. The disturbance we're feeling is not in that direction. Okay. Hurry, take the door across from me and see what is happening outside. You need to equip yourself before facing the unknown. Very well, I will not stop you, but you must hurry back. No, we're good. We're good. Push! What's all that shaking? <clears throat> the whole ground is heaving. I thought it was supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Sprocket. Check on the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. There is nothing natural about these tremors. That monster could free itself at any moment. Approach the pit with caution. Oh, great. <laughs> Quiet, Groose. The grown-ups are talking. I wish he could soar, instead of just like, drop down, straight down. Ah! 
Oh, hey. This thing was in the beginning of the game. Like in the opening cutscenes. Um, I'd be pretty upset too if that thing was shoved through the top of my head. Would you like me to pull that out for you? Oh, you have feet? Huh. But no arms. I knew it. The seal has given way. I'll explain later, but now is the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping that pit. It must not reach the temple. Yeah, sure. Oh, come on. Why aren't you swinging the sword? Oh, you got more on the back side of your- of course you do. Phase two. Can I climb him? Oh, we're gonna push that back into his head, huh? <laughs> His foot. It was a fair call thinking that a skyward strike would be necessary. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did you try that too? Here. The 235. <laughs> well, I guess I shouldn't have gone that way. I don't have time to like go get gems, huh? But I'd have to wait for him to stand up anyway, right? Oh, he's down there. I thought you'd be further up right now, dude. Blacker. I'll go through the center. <laughs> Got it. Dude. Not the way I went. <laughs>
I hate this camera right now. Hopefully this is the last time we have to try it. He's getting way too close to the temple. Way too close. I need heart. It looks like that'd be the last one. Great. Boy, well, he's getting really pissed off, and now he's gonna like grow arms. Good job. Hey, we did it. Thank you. <laughs> what the hell, you foul demon? <laughs> Thank you. Ew. Mm. Now, Sprocket. Strike the ceiling spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. Now, ta-da. <laughs> I don't think they've made me do that yet. That was the first. Yeah. Nice going, Sprocket. Though the imprison had only just begun to awaken and break its bonds, I'm impressed you were able to restore the seal, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, you have only succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. The behemoth you beat back into confinement is a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if the seal gave way again soon. So you are left with precious little time to complete the task with which you have been entrusted. Return to the sealed temple, Sprocket. There is much to discuss. Who's not a hero now, Groose? As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab. I thought I said stab. A slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light from your skyward strike might just do it. Uh, sorry to disappoint you, boy, but for now your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. Barren Woods, Elden Volcano, and Lanairu Desert. No idea how to say that. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify your sword in their heat. Only after your blade has been tempered by these three fires will it be fully imbued with the great power for which you search. Clues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of a song precious to your people, the Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are your best hope of finding your way to the flames. Return to Skyloft. Somewhere on your island is one whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction.
<laughs> no, we're not friends now, dude. I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me? Well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Ah, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in all this. Mm. Rocket, go now. Trust in fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. <laughs> hmm. He's right, he's right. <laughs> All right, so we're going back to Skylar. I would like to fill our wallet, though. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. I think we got everything that we really need. We can stand now. Um. Go ahead and save. Kick him off the ledge. Oh, do we have to give him a ride home? Oh, come on. I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. Now you're gonna go cry in the corner? Do I have to go console him? I don't want to. But the game's kind of pointing me in that direction. I'm just dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? Talk to him again. No, he just says the same thing. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, I thought there was a save thing right here that I could use to go back to Skylop. I have an idea on who could teach me about the harp, but. I don't know their name. I'm guessing it's gonna be at the school because that's like the only place. Why can't I move? The only place where teachers are, right? Field grounds. The Majora's Mask. <laughs> Behind the temple, bird statue. Oh. Those are all air pockets, right? I don't know where I want to go. I don't even remember how we got here. Siciliana, how you doing? Good to see you. We just beat a boss and now we know how to play a harp. 
I probably can't jump over this, and that's where I want to be, right there. Right there. Just jump over. <laughs> oh, so close. Darn you. Okay, we'll go the other way. Doing all right? Glad to hear that. I am well, thank you. All right, so we just beat a boss. Bruce jumped in the portal after us, or like, wormhole, whatever. The hole in the clouds. He's over there crying, but he's useless. He thought he was going to save Zelda, and then we beat the monster. So now he's crying. Now we have to go find someone that... He's going to teach us how to play the harp. I have to go back to Gylof. So I'm trying to get to that statue. Maybe. Maybe. No. Wait, I can't climb that? And what, I went out the wrong door? Maybe I went out the wrong door. Maybe? Hey, there's a statue right there. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're pretty badass. Yeah, this is where I came in. Great, Goron. I have found some. Look, those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over this place. This has to be the right spot. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I could not create beautiful tones if wild animals threaten to roll me down a hill. What can we do? How do I pull the... Oh, how do I pull the harp out? Boing! <laughs> Slice and dice! <laughs> that is it! One of the talking statues that ancient texts spoke of. There is just no mistaking it. Butterflies tend to gather around gossip stones like myself. If you find a spot swarming with butterflies, play a tune of great beauty and a gossip stone might might just pop out of the ground with a boing. Boing. So we can talk to him too. And the other ones we had to do something before we could talk to him. That's cool. Okay, so who are we going to talk to? Let's go ahead and save again. And then... To the sky. Yes! <laughs> Do I have to hit all these? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Pretty sure. 